Hey everyone, my name is Brian. I'm the new owner of the Tesla Solar Roof. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how it handles the snow. Now here in New England, one of those popular comments I get is, yeah, the roof looks cool, but how does it handle the snow? So in this video, we're gonna dig into it. If you find this video useful and ultimately decide that a Tesla Solar Roof is right for you, use my referral code below and you can save $500 in your purchase. Let's go. First, let's talk about my expectations. This topic was one of the first things that I asked my Tesla Solar account representative about. And what they told me is that I could expect snow to slide off the roof just like a metal roof. That solar tiles themselves are actually hydrophobic, which means that they repel water. Further, the tiles are black and they also generate heat. And since the tiles are interconnected, the heat distributes evenly. So given all those factors, my expectation is that the roof in general should shed the snow with no problem at all. Now, I'd also like to call out some of the specifics of my house. So I live on a single floor ranch and the pitch of my roof is actually relatively shallow. Historically in years past, when we get snowstorms, the snow has always lingered on my roof longer than my neighbors. The other factor that contributes to that is that my attic space is actually really well insulated, which means that right directly under the roof stays pretty cold. And so the heat from the home does not contribute and, and help the snow to warm up um, and, and slide off the roof. So in general, we've had problems with after big snowstorms with snow hanging onto my roof for too long. So given that, I'm actually really curious to see how this Hessel Solar Roof performs. Okay, so in this video, um, I had set up a, a camera in my backyard after we received about an inch or two of, of snow. And as you can tell by the clouds rolling by, it was sort of a, a mix of partial sun and clouds this day. And the video is a time lapse over a span of, uh, I think about three or four hours. And as you can see, um, sort of as advertised by Tesla, um, once the roof started to get a little bit of sun, it seems like it started to warm up. And then by midday, it was, it was all gone. So next up, we have a much bigger test. About a week later, we'd receive a, a big nor'easter that would drop about two feet of snow on our town. Now to start, you can see that the, sh the roof did a pretty good job of shedding the snow and preventing it from accumulating. And if you look at as a comparison, the amount of snow on the steps, you can see that at least at the very start of this time lapse, um, th there wasn't too much snow accumulating up on top of the roof. Now, what this video does not show is that on the front of the house, which is northern facing, now remember this is New England and this is a nor'easter, which means the wind blows out of the north and east. There was almost no snow on the roof at all. So it was only on the southern face that the snow really started to accumulate. Now, if I fast forward this video just a little bit and keep in mind that this time lapse that I recorded actually spanned for about 12 or 16 hours. So it snowed for a really long time. But once, once there was a small layer of snow on the roof, it definitely started to accumulate up until the point where there was a big slide. And because I set up the camera to the time lapse, we can actually look at this frame by frame, which is pretty interesting. So at the time we were actually outside out front shoveling. So we did not hear it. Um, there's no damage to the house. We actually had some new gutters installed as well, and they also seem to be just fine. So um, again, sort of as Tesla advertised, I, I think it functions very similar to a, a metal roof where once enough snow accumulates, that's going to slide right off and have a little bit of a mini avalanche. All right, well, there you have it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until next time, thanks.